Okay. Hey guys, Sifu Adelik here, Red Sash Renegade, and I made this video to help you uh, fix your algorithms so you can literally improve your reality. All right, that's why I made this video. Uh, Bree was just asking me, what, you're making a video alive on how to fix lives? And I was like, no, not how to fix lives, how to fix lives, like your real, your real life. Um, but Facebook has a lot to do with that though. So, so here's the question I had for you. Have you ever, um, first of all, by the way, in this video, you don't have to, for the technique I'm going to show you, you don't have to believe in it and you don't have to trust me. You just have to be observant, be patient and trust your own experience and it will do all the revealing for you once you get it right. But have you ever logged in, like opened up Facebook on like a computer that other people use and you didn't notice that you were under their account still and you were just kind of scrolling your newsfeed and it's like really quickly you'll notice like what's going on here? This isn't right. It doesn't feel right. It's got weird stuff on it because you're stepping into someone else's algorithm hole, right? Like they're where they've got all different stuff they've liked and engaged with. So Facebook is showing them entirely different things and you step into it, you know, really quickly that something's off, right? Well, your, your life, your reality is very much the same thing. The Facebook algorithms are just kind of like a, another model for showing us how reality works. And if you don't believe me, I got a story for you. So I have this one friend, uh, actually, a, you know, a student of mine, and uh, she's watching this, she knows, she knows who she is. But she was always have like weird, funny, anecdotal stories that she would tell whenever we would get together, right? And, and after a while, I thought this person was like one of those compulsive liars who would just say BS stories just to get attention. And, you're, and you kind of like smile and nod, but in your mind, you're thinking like, yeah, that didn't happen. You're just making this stuff up to get attention, right? One of those people. You, we all have those people. Well, and that was always just what I assumed. I didn't say anything, but I kind of like assumed it in my mind until I spent the day with this person. We went out and did a few different things and I couldn't believe all the weird stuff that she found herself like falling into, all the weird circumstances with weird people that just random stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You're actually not a compulsive liar. You're just, you just attract really weird stuff into your life. Her algorithms are just different. They're not bad, they're just really weird. So, and then I got to think of all these crazy stories that she talks about her. Probably true because I'm watching it right in front of my eyes. It's quite hilarious how that works. Well, life is a lot like that, right? So for example, like when me and my wife go grocery shopping together, we usually have a pretty fun time and things just kind of go with the flow really, really well. And we, you know, skate through the store and get what we need and have fun and then we're on our way out, no problems. If, and my wife was just telling me this, you know, earlier, like if, if you go grocery shopping with someone else and if I go grocery shopping with my mom, for example, there's always different things happening. Like something is out of stock or someone says something not so polite or just, she just, her algorithms, reality algorithms, pull in different stuff. Um, it's really weird. So if you, if you don't believe me, just try that. Ask yourself, have you ever happened upon someone else's newsfeed or have you gone to do some kind of activity or, or errand, like a day-to-day -day stuff like grocery shopping is a good example with someone else. And if you notice the different things that happen to them that normally don't happen to you, it's because they're running different algorithms. Okay. Now that might seem really weird and, and kind of voodoo-y, but that's just the way we're primed. Like we, when we have certain information fed into our brains, we expect different things and we focus on different things and we, you know, subconsciously ignore some and then pay attention to others. Right. So like, for example, when you're hanging around someone that watches a lot of the news, you can usually tell because everything is just always terrible. Right. We're going on about things that are happening in different countries that have nothing really to do with us, but they affect our mood. Now, it's OK to know about those things, but to focus on them and have them drift into our mind all the time is going to change our perspective. We'll be less likely to notice little kindnesses that happen here and there. And we're more likely to notice when people are jerks. Those things are going to happen regardless, but what we're already kind of primed to focus on, we'll pick up those things and it'll add to the algorithms or the mood we've already decided on. So again, it's not something you have to like believe in attraction. Just notice that for yourself and how subconsciously we run these different algorithms that affect what we, what we notice and how frequent we notice them. So I did say I was going to help you improve this problem, right? So one thing that I teach in, you know, not only our martial arts program, our Kung Fu program, our leadership program, and my coaching programs is that we, we have to use what we call renegade time. I call it renegade time because I'm Sifu Rob, the Red Sash Renegade. It's labeled up there somewhere, right? And that means I take that time in the morning 
where I'm going to do things my way and I'm going to not have my opinions fed to me by some kind of outside media or someone else's problem. So usually almost every morning I make sure to not look at any kind of media at all, not my, my phone, and, and just spend some time alone with my own thoughts and not have my opinions handed to me by you know some other kind of news because that's typically what what media will do is it will assign your opinions to you as much as we don't like to think of it most of our opinions not all but most of our opinions are assigned to us based on what kind of media we're consuming so using renegade time the way you do to prime your day is to you can just you know you can start with meditation or exercise but just start with your day plan like start with your to-do list for the day okay plan out more or less what you need to do for that day that's just the first step okay the second step is in, in a calm state of mind where you have no distractions and it's nice and quiet, maybe you have your morning coffee or tea, just close your eyes and spend like a minute or 30 seconds on each item and calmly visualize what that end result is going to be like, right? What you want it to look like, not what the, oh my God, what if this goes wrong version of you wants to think, but the optimistic side of you wants to think and visualize yourself completing that task thinking, wow, that was really easy and just feel that. That was surprisingly easy. That's awesome. And then let it go and then go on to the next item and do the same thing. And if you've got, say, 10 tasks on your list and you spend 30, you know, 30 seconds each, it should only take you five minutes. But then don't keep going over those things again and again and again in your head because you've already programmed your subconscious mind on what to expect. Let it go. If you go back to them and worry about them and worry about how you're going to be doing it, it's, it's not going to work the same. Okay, so just try it and then see for yourself how that's going to work out for your experience. Okay? And it might not work. It's not going to guarantee it works every time. It's not going to guarantee you a stress-free lifestyle, right? Stress is still going to happen, but you're going to approach things differently and you're going to notice more like you'll be more likely to notice things that will help you complete those tasks and less likely to notice the things that are in the way of you completing those tasks, right? And then what you focus on you're, you're going to get uh, more of. But again, you don't have to have faith in it. You just have to trust, observe, be patient, and trust your own experience and see what happens when you take that renegade time. Okay, we, we do discuss this a lot more. And, you know, my, my coaching programs we're starting up now, um, Inner Chamber, if you guys are interested in that and want to be a part of that, we meet every other, we're meeting every other week and discussing more, you know, tips like this on how to improve our, our reality, improve our productivity and our... Um, yeah, just generally our mindset and how we do things. So if you'd like more information about that, just put a comment and emoji in the bottom below and be like, yeah, I'm interested in that. And then we'll uh, we'll get together and just discuss the time and schedule for that and see if it's something that's right for you. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like it and please share it. And also like the, the page, not just the post, but the page so you get more information like this when I post it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.